we want to start building toward one of the most important types of groups that we can think of. So we're going to start by defining a permutation of a set. And all that is is a function from the set to itself, and that function has to be a bijection. It has to be both one-to-one -one and onto. So one simple example would be, say we got a function from the real numbers to the real numbers, and that function is defined by f of x is equal to 2x. It'd be very easy to show that this thing is both one to one and onto, so this is a permutation. However, what we really want to focus on instead are permutations of finite sets. So for example, we might have a function from the set 1, 2, 3, 4 to itself. And we could define that by something like f of 1 is equal to 3, f of 2 is equal to 1, f of 3 is equal to 4, and f of 4 is equal to 2. Because it's 1 to 1 and on 2, every one of these has to be different for what it maps to. Now, this is a perfectly fine permutation, but this notation of kind of just writing out what every function it element is, is kind of hard to work with. So we're going to be learning a couple of different notations for this, and the first one of which is this. We're going to write it as kind of a matrix. And so the top, we're going to have our elements of our group, our elements of our set in order. And then the bottom will be what it maps to. So f of 1 is 3, f of 2 is 1, f of 3 is 4, f of 4 is 2. Now, to take this a step further, what happens if I'm multiplying two permutations together? Let's say I had 2, 4, 3, 1. Well, because these are functions, we do tend to evaluate them right to left. And all we have to do is, we know it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 across the top. We have to kind of figure out, what does 1 map to eventually? 1 maps to 2, but then 2 maps to 1. So in the end, 1 has come back to 1. 2 maps to 4, 4 maps to 2. So 2 has come back to 2. 3 maps to 3, then 3 maps to 4. So 3 maps to 4. 4 goes to 1, 1 goes to 3, so in the end 4 goes to 3. Now that we know how these permutations work, a permutation group is quite simply, it's just a set of permutations that is a group under that function composition, under the same kind of multiplication that we just did. So a really simple permutation group would be something like if my set is just 1 and 2, I could have the permutations 1, 2, 1, 2, because we need an identity element. And then we would have the only other possibility, 1, 2, 2, 1. This thing would be its own inverse, because if I did 1, 2, 2, 1 times itself. 1 would go to 2, 2 would go to 1. So 1 would go to 1, 2 would go to 1, 1 would go to 2, so 2 would go to 2. So there, it's its own inverses. It's not hard to show any of the other stuff. Associativity, <coughs> um, we've got an identity, it's certainly closed. So 
This is a group, a permutation group, just not a very interesting one. Let's go a little bit more than that. Let's say I'm working on the set 1, 2, 3. Let's say my permutation group, I've got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I've got 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2. This would be another permutation group. Let's go ahead and kind of verify some of this. Just for certain purposes of doing this, we'll call this the identity, we'll call this A, and we'll call this B, and let's go ahead and try and make a Cayley table for this. Certainly, multiplying by the identity, we know what we're going to get there. So what if I do A times A? 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, so 1 goes to 3. 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, so 2 goes to 1. 3 goes to 1, 1 goes to 2, so 3 goes to 2. So e, A times A has to be B. What about AB? So again, when I do AB, the B is on the right, so that's going to be done first in terms of the function. 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1. 2 goes to 1, 1 goes to 2, 3 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, so each thing, 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, 3 goes to 3, that gives me the identity. Now you should be able to figure out the rest here, but b times a is going to be the identity, b times b is going to give me a, and then once we've got that it's easy to see, we've got inverses, it's a closed operation, so it will be a group.